my name is Natasha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a all day wear test and a first impressions on some $1 makeup pieces that I found at Dollar Mania here in Louisiana and they are all by LA Colors. <laughs> get started I'd like to say congratulations to Catherine you are this video's shout out winner if you would like to win leave a comment below to enter also if you have not yet hit that red button and subscribe to my channel and let's get started okay so I have a clean face right now and I am ready to apply my first layer which is going to be primer I picked up four items a primer a liquid makeup foundation. It doesn't say foundation on it. It just says liquid makeup, which is a little strange. And then a concealer, which these two items are actually rather dark. So I'm kind of nervous to see how they'll look on my skin, but we are going to play around and see if they're worth it. Their shade range in the dollar store was like really not anything at all. There was like almost nothing. So, um, they definitely did not have any darker shades that I could see where I was and they didn't really have much like lighter shades, especially in this concealer. They did have a few different other primers. I just got this clear, um, pore minimizing primer. And then I also got this lip liner, which we'll be putting on with the lip look at the end of the video. And, um, I have no idea what to expect. Each of these items are dollar, so the quality and the ingredients and the long lasting power of them, I don't have much faith in, but we will see. All right, so I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna go in with this face primer. So I got this white one. They have um, ones in each of these little different colors. They have a clear one, which is this, yellow, which corrects dullness, cool pink, for brightening your complexion, peach, which neutralizes dark spots, and then green, which neutralizes redness. I personally have not ever found much benefit of either of these items, but of the color correcting um, products, but I don't really have too much to color correct on my skin. If you have any experience with color correcting and you've benefited from it or you haven't, please let me know in the comments below. I'm curious. So this primer, it says that it's just supposed to minimize my pores, fill in my lines, and do everything that a primer is supposed to. I'm really nervous to see how this wears. This little tube, like a, almost like a lip gloss, like an OG lip gloss kind of applicator um, that comes out like that. And it's really white. Okay, it's kind of a little scary. We'll just put a little bit on this on my face. Let me do a tiny little drop. That might have been a little too much. Okay, a little bit here, a little bit here. I'm just rubbing it in. It smells like straight lotion, to be honest. Did it actually do something for my skin? Did a little something, nothing crazy. I'm kind of scared to put a little bit more on because of it being so white. Let me just put a little bit. It did an okay job. If it makes my foundation look really good, then We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. It does have fragrance in it. So the ingredients in here, they're not too crazy bad. There's not any color. The only ingredient here that really stands out to me is they have fragrance at the end, the last ingredient. So the lowest concentrate, not a big deal. Okay, so now we're going to go in with this liquid makeup. I got this in the color Natural. And it says it's supposed to give you flawless looking skin and help even your skin tone. A soft, luminous finish with complete coverage, ideal for all skin types. It sounds good. All for a dollar. Oh, something interesting. I found 
a Maybelline product at the Dollar Mania. It wasn't Dollar Mania, it was Dollar Tree. Excuse me, they're both green, uh, their logo. So I got this Maybelline little eyeliner pen and it's a brightening golden pen and this thing was a dollar and it's so amazing. So if you happen to see it in the store, highly recommend that you pick it up. I've been using it in my waterline and also as like a little highlight here. It's extremely creamy, but if you put it on, it's like very shiny, but it'll last all day. So if you put it somewhere, don't expect to just rub it off because it's gonna stay there, especially if you let it dry down. I let some dry down on my hand and I could not like, I, I couldn't get it to rub off. Okay, so this is the liquid makeup. It's really not very big, but it was a dollar, so I'm not complaining. It comes in a little pump. That color doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna do a little swatch. Yeah, I think that might work if it doesn't like oxidize. It is a little orange. It's actually a little bit lighter than what I thought it would be. That's really runny. I expected it to be a lot more um, thick, but that's like really runny kind of consistently. Okay, so I'm shocked right now. I just put, technically it was three pumps of this on. The color matches perfectly. The finish right now looks fantastic. It looks just like my skin. It has a small little glow to it, but it's not like overpowering. It's actually so, so nice. I wouldn't consider the three pumps that I did like a full coverage because you could still see like my vein, the spot, my beauty spot, some little acne stuff. But I mean, overall, this looks fantastic. And then it was just $1. It's beautiful looking up close. Really excited to see how this foundation is going to wear because this would be a great item to have for like traveling, like if you're going on vacation, something like that. It's extremely inexpensive, so you don't have to worry about um, losing it or breaking it. And let me look at the ingredients on it. So it doesn't have any alcohol inside of this product, and it actually doesn't have that many ingredients compared to other foundations. So I think overall, that this actually might be a really good everyday natural kind of foundation. Okay, so moving on to the concealer. I got it in the color Nude. It says that it is a concealer that covers and conceals and it has a foam tip applicator. Creamy formula glides on smoothly, evens out skin tone, and improves skin texture. Minimizes pores and cover up brown spots, freckles, and blemishes. Blends in a flash to a soft, natural finish that lasts all day. So put on, blend with fingertips or a sponge. Put... Okay, so it says that you need to apply the LA Colors Liquid Makeup and Pressed Powder to set it. So... Um, a lot of people actually do this with their beauty routines. They apply the concealer first underneath and then they set it with the um, foundation or whatever liquid makeup or powder makeup that they're going to apply over their face. And I've actually been doing that. It's really good for spot coverage. Like I have some breakups here and I've started doing that on, on those. Like if I'll have some dark spots and then also I've done it on this dark spot right here above my head and it works really well. Personally, I think it works better than if you are to put concealer on top of the product, on top of your foundation. So we're going to be using this to conceal and to do just a little bit under eye brightening. So it's really, it's small. It's much smaller than the foundation. You can kind of see them right here next to each other. Also see the color comparison a little bit. It almost looks a little bit darker. It's a little bit more cool tone than foundation. This is the concealer. It comes with a tiny little brush and just put a little bit right here. You can see it right there next to the foundation. All right, so we're going to go in under the under eyes. It's a little bit darker than what I would like it to be. 
but that's okay. We're just gonna go with it. It's really thin consistently, consistency, just like the uh, foundation was. So the coverage is not super, super thick. Maybe I can build it up a little bit. There, there, there. And might as well do a little straight down the nose. Why not? Concealer, I like to focus in on the center and then pat it out. Okay, to be honest, I don't think that the concealer really did anything. It might have just added like an extra little layer of coverage and color, but I don't like the color that much and it didn't seem much thicker than the foundation. And I don't like the kind of darkness that it added underneath my eyes and on my eyelids. So I'm just gonna go with a little pump of the foundation, the liquid makeup and apply it over top, which is what they recommend anyway just to brighten that a little bit up. So overall, not bad. I do think that I'll do a little pass on the concealer and just go straight for the liquid foundation. I feel also like the concealer added a little bit more of a oiliness than the liquid foundation and I'm not the biggest fan of it. Its coverage is also just not worth having an extra product whenever I could just lay out, layer up a uh, their foundation, the liquid makeup. Okay, so I'm going to be putting on my powders. I'm going to be setting it with my Makeup Revolution Talc Free Powder in medium yellow. And then I'm going to do the rest of my face. We'll be back and then we're going to play with this lip liner and see if I can get a nice nude lip with it. is done and we are ready to put on some lips. So this lip liner I got is in the color Bear With Me. It is a auto lip liner that is a twist up. It says that it is long lasting and has a smooth formula. So let's see how this works. I've really been into nudes recently, nude lipstick. I just put out a new uh, Revlon nude lipstick try on swatch. I will link that video below so you can check that out. But I am planning on doing a full nude um, look, my top nude lips from the drugstore and um, what combos I think work well and just a full A to Z on it because I've really been diving deep into nude lips ever since quarantine started essentially. I've never really been into lipstick. I'll be doing a video soon about nude lips and showing off my collection, all of my tips and tricks that I've learned, combos, different things like that, what to do, what not to do. So be sure to be subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out whenever that video goes live. All right, so this lip liner, it's the same size as my other lip liners. It has this nice little screw out pen. Uh, this color is actually really pretty. It's a really nice neutral color. It's a little pinky, but a little more on the browner dark side, which I do like. Okay, so let's see how it applies. It's 
to that color right there you can see it's already it's darker than my normal lip shade and it's more on the pink side instead of the cool warm brown side um something i do have to say about the application even though it is a uh, pen a uh, little rollout auto liner it's not a gel liner so it's not like super smooth going on it is actually more the consistency of just a normal pencil so I do kind of like that because that gives you a little bit more of a precision what you do with it. the gel liners sometimes they slip a little bit more than what I would want them to really nice I did really enjoy working with it and remember it is only one dollar so for that price and the result that it's giving right now I think that it is a fantastic find okay I'm going to go in with we're going to keep the drugstore theme and let me see this is elf um, this is wet and wild which color do I want let me see I'm gonna go in with the wet and wild and I'll highlight with the elf so this is in the color Never Nude. Yeah. It is their new satin matte lip. And this is also a fantastic drugstore lipstick. It's only $2 at Walmart. So that's really pretty. It goes really well with this lip liner. Now I'm going to take this e.l.f. one in the color cream. It's also a new nude lip and I think it is like a dollar. I think it might be three dollars. A little bit lighter, put it just on the center of my lips. So this e.l.f. one is a little bit more um, a little bit more juicy, a little bit more shiny than the Wet n Wild matte one, even though that one is not fully matte matte. The Wet n Wild is just a little bit more satiny matte than the e.l.f. Both are extremely nice. As you can see, very nice nude lip. Love the liner. I have absolutely loved this foundation that I'm wearing right now. It's fantastic. So the liner and the foundation are a 100% yes for me. The primer, it did do a decent job. If you're looking for a really good, cheap, affordable primer, that one probably would be good for you to pick up. If you're into the color correcting thing and that works for you, then go and try their other primers. This is really white, so it did give that white cast. So be careful of that whenever you do purchase it. If you are a darker skin tone, that might affect the color of your foundation. So you just kind of have to keep that in mind when purchasing products. But overall, I think that this looks fantastic. I have a really natural look as you can see it just blends seamlessly in. it's not full full coverage I possibly could build it up to that but I'll probably use a lot of the foundation but for one dollar I think that this is fantastic I am going to be wearing this foundation throughout the day and I'll do a check-in in a little bit so that you can see how it performs if it gets oily greasy if it oxidizes more than what it has it hasn't oxidized at all in my opinion right now but we will see if it does anything strange throughout the day if it breaks up will let you know as far as the concealer right now not really like the biggest fan of it I don't think that it's bad I just think that if uh I can't find this concealer in a lighter shade for highlighting purposes the concealing effect is about the same as this liquid makeup uh, foundation so just pick up the one product and then put a little bit extra dabs wherever you need it and you're good to go but as of right now this concealer especially in this color it's a little bit too dark for me just kind of not seeing the point of having it in the routine as I don't need it all right so we're going to cut to the end of the day check in all right guys I'm back and it is 7 10 and I've worn this makeup for about 
I guess seven hours now, almost eight hours. And so far it still looks really good. The only thing that I have a little problem with is the concealer that I put on my nose right here. And I didn't cover that back up with the foundation. It did kind of start to separate right here on my nose. I do wear blue light glasses working on the computer. So it does do a little rub, but this is kind of a weird thing that doesn't usually happen with my other concealers. So that's just something to note. So I do think overall that the concealer is not a product that I would purchase again or that I would recommend for um, any purpose really. But this foundation, this foundation still looks pretty much almost as good as whenever I first applied it today. It did not change color. It didn't break up anywhere. I didn't really put a lot of it on there, so I didn't really like layer, layer it up. I used three pumps, maybe like four pumps to apply it and it just looks great. It wore great. I'm very happy with how it is right now. I would recommend that you go and pick this up and try it if you're looking for a very light coverage, very natural looking uh, foundation that you can just kind of whoop, pop in your purse and have it to go with you. Very inexpensive. I got it at the store. It was called Dollar Tree. I don't know if you'd have that where you live. I think they have a website, but I don't know if you can purchase it, but I do believe that you'd be able to find this foundation on the internet somewhere if you're interested in looking for it. It was $1, so I think that that is worth the price. As you can see right now, it looks rather fantastic. The primer, I think, did a good job. Since the foundation still looks really good, I would also attribute part of that to be due to this face primer that I put on. Maybe if I put some of the primer more on my nose and that concealer breakup right there in that area would not have happened. I don't know, but I do think that this primer performed well, that it's held up my foundation, that I did see actually a little bit of pore smoothing effect when using this primer. So I think that this is also a really great product, especially for a $1. If you see it, pick it up. Last but not least, this lip pencil. I think you guys already know how I feel about it. It applied really nicely. It's not a gel. It's more of the consistency of a normal pencil that you would just sharpen with a sharpener, but it does have the handy functionality of one of the gel pencils where it does scroll in and out like that, which I absolutely adore. The color was really nice. I think that it lasted for a decent amount of time. It did come off just like any of my liners do, so it's not like a super ink thing, but did not expect that. Overall, for $1, highly recommend this. They do have some other colors, I believe, so if you can find some, definitely check it out. Okay guys, so what do you think? Do you think that my face still looks good? Do you think that this kind of makeup is worth the low cost and that it is something that should be included in a everyday beauty routine? I know that there's some stigma around the price being equated to quality, which a lot of times that is true. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. If you've tried their products, please let me know as well and which ones you liked and which ones you did not like. Always love hearing from you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, hit that red button and become a part of our YouTube family. Thank you for watching and I will see you.